the high temperatures stick around, keeping the lights on, of course, a major focus for the state's many utility companies. So far, Colorado has avoided any rolling outages, unlike California. Now, the question on the mind of many, do we have enough energy capacity in our electric grid to actually keep up in future heat waves? Something that we're looking into for you. Connor McHugh joins us live tonight. And Connor, some Colorado energy companies have started putting caps on energy use. Yeah, Karen, some homeowners may have noticed this past week that some of these Colorado companies have been using some of their programs to conserve energy during the afternoons. Now, Excel Energy says programs like that, along with some other long-term solutions, are going to play a major part in keeping these grids operational and resilient moving forward. As record-breaking heat bears down on the west, power grids across the region are being pushed to the brink. In California, peak demand has led to rolling outages, and in Colorado, there's been a toll too. We have seen uh, significant surges in demand, and we have seen uh, peak highs. Robert Kenny is the president of XL Colorado. He says this week they've asked customers to conserve and also done it for them taking over thermostats through long-standing voluntary programs like AC Rewards and Savers Switch. We have things under control. We are prepared and we will make sure that the lights stay on. But moving forward, challenges will remain as more frequent heat waves strain the grid and drought lowers the amount of power available to meet demand. It's really clear uh, that this is one of the impacts of climate change and, and something that we are going to see going forward. Keith Hay with the Colorado Energy Office says the key will be having a more resilient grid. And so far, our state is up for the challenge. We are not only planning uh, at the big power generation level, but here in Colorado, we're planning uh, in the neighborhoods to make sure that as customers install solar or buy EVs or electrify their heating and cooling in their houses, that we'll have the resources from poles and wires to wind farms and solar facilities to ensure that we're able to meet their needs. Now, Hay says another thing that will help states and utility companies create a more reliable grid moving forward is money in the Inflation Reduction Act, which the president signed into law last month. Live in Denver, Connor McHugh covering Colorado First.